If you're preparing for the IELTS, specifically the speaking section, this is the right video to watch. Every Sunday on my channel, I upload a video about the speaking section. And in this video, you can find some phrases that you can use in your speaking. And also the questions that we have here are from actual IELTS exams. And by the end of this video, if you can't learn anything, or if you can't improve your speaking a little bit, you don't have to do anything. But if this video is helpful, by the end of the video, I want you to do three things. First, like my video, then share it with one of your friends, and finally, subscribe to my channel, because it will motivate me to record more videos. Now, let's get started. As I've told you, this is the first video on this series, and specifically, I focus on the speaking section of the IELTS, and there are a lot of phrases that you can use in your speaking. Let's talk about the speaking section. It is generally 11 to 14 minutes. Every test is recorded. In the first part, the examiner will ask you general questions about yourself and a range of familiar topics, such as home, family, work, studies, and interests. This part lasts between four and five minutes. And in part two, you will be given a card which asks you to talk about a particular topic. You will have one minute to prepare before speaking for up to two minutes. The examiner will then ask one or two questions on the same topic. And finally, in part three, you will be asked further questions about the topic in part two. These will give you the opportunity to discuss more abstract ideas and issues. This part of the test lasts between four and five minutes. In this video, in all questions that I ask you, you can see also a green box. In that green box, there are some phrases that you can use in the speaking section. And when you practice at home, try to use those phrases in your answers. And pay attention to the timer over there. Try to arrange your answers accordingly. And you may ask how it is marked. It is marked based on your fluency and coherence, on your lexical resource or your vocabulary, on grammatical range and accuracy, and also your pronunciation. In part one, first they ask about yourself. They, the examiner will introduce himself or herself and then ask about you. For example, hello, my name is Mozapel. What is your full name? And you should answer, my, my full name is blah, blah, blah. And then they ask you about the spelling of your name, your full name. How do you spell your full name? And you can use these, just this phrase or these sentences. My first name is spelled and my last name is spelled, blah, blah, blah. And then they ask about your proof of identification. May I see your proof of identification? And you can say, sure, here you are. Now, let's start with part one. Here, I'm gonna ask you two questions and in the green box, there are phrases that you can use in your answer. And on top right of your screen, you can see the timer. So try to answer the question and pay attention to the timer that we have over there. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some more questions about yourself, okay? Let's talk about your hometown or village. What kind of place is it? What's the most interesting part of your town or village? Say 
Thank you. What kind of jobs do the people in your town or village do? Would you say it's a good place to live? Why? Let's move on to talk about accommodation. Tell me about the kind of accommodation you live in. How long have you lived there? What do you like about living there? What sort of accommodation would you most like to live in? Now, let's start with part two. Examiners will announce that this is the end of part one. Now, let's start part two. You will have to talk about a topic for one to two minutes in part two. You have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes to help you if you wish. And you have a timer over there as you see, but in the real exam you can't see the timer. All right, remember you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll ask you, I'll tell you, I'm sorry, I'll tell you when the time is up. So you're gonna see the question now, and uh, please have a piece of paper, a pen, and take some notes at home and then speak after the preparation time. Describe something you own which is very important to you. You should say where you got it from, how long you have had it, what you use it for, and explain why it is important to you. Start now.
All right. Now you will see the question and also you have to speak up to two minutes. Now you can look at your notes, that is fine, but don't read from your notes. Please start your answer now. Thank you. Is it valuable in terms of money? Thank you. Would it be easy to replace? Thank you. This is the end of part two. Now let's start part three together. We've been talking about things we own. I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions relating to this topic. First, let's consider values and the way they can change. In your country, what kind of possessions do you think Give status to people.
Thank you. Have things changed since your parents' time? Thank you. Finally, let's talk about the role of advertising. Do you think advertising influences what people buy? Thank you. And this is the end of speaking section. All right, over here, I have speaking band descriptors. Over here, you can see the criteria that examiners are looking for, for the fluency and coherence, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy, and also pronunciation. Now, Based on the band score that you're planning to get, you have to study this uh, band descriptor very, very carefully. And uh, that's it. I hope it helps. Thank you again for watching my video. I think you remember what I asked you in the beginning of the video. If the video is helpful, please share it with one of your friends subscribe to my channel and like the video hope to see you again by the way every sunday there is a new video on my channel about the speaking section stay tuned